Good morning all. We will be taking our exhortation from the book of Psalms, chapter 6, verse 1 to 10. Today's topic will be considered as Be gracious to me, O Lord. Be gracious to me, O Lord. We will be laying emphasis on verse 2, which says, Be gracious to me, O Lord. Be gracious to me, O Lord. For I am languishing. For I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord. Heal me, O Lord. For my bones are troubled. For my bones are troubled. We will see today the writer of this psalm is King David. Whom who wrote this psalm in the moment when God was punishing him for his sin, which he committed adultery with somebody else's wife. We will see here that King David the writer was indicated at the heading in the incident with Bathsheba in 2 Samuel chapter 11. And they reproved by Nathan to the point of reference here. David was profound in his soul because of his sin. You see, consider David as a man that if he sins, he comes back to God to, for forgiveness. So we see that he experienced a time of spiritual darkness because God hates sinners and he reproved those whom he loved. So today, as we are all thinking, he was broken hearted as enemies rejoiced in his sorrow. He, however, knew that God was near to hear his plea wherever he, he finds himself for mercy and put his enemy to shame. One thing that helped King David obtain mercy from God in this regard is that he was not hypocritical. Hypocritical in the sense that he wasn't doing eye service because of all the religious activities he was doing. He was doing that from his heart which he really went to God in a bowing heart to ask for forgiveness as a result of that sin. We see here that sin hinders a lot of things in our lives. Like in King David, because of that sin, he was unable to meet with God because of in his heart there was something that was hindering him from coming to the throne of mercy. So we see here that if we come to God in one heart, he will always learn to forgive us our sin, no matter what, because of his mercy to God. So today, we should always learn to admit one's wrongdoing rather than rationalizing evil or even making an attempt to cover it up with our religious activity. We shouldn't see that because of we have sin, we will go back to God, go to church, pay tithes, all those things will not take our sins away. We have to come with one heart. And coming here in one heart in this sense means that we should always go to God and learn not to go back to that sin. Because some of us today, when we sin, we go to God, we pray, He forgives us, then we still go back to that. So we should see that a sinner who is really seeking mercy should not go back to his past ways. We should forsake that old things we are doing. So here, the scripture says that whoever conceals their sin does not prosper. But the one who confesses and is ready, and is ready to renounce them finds mercy with God. That's Proverbs 28 verse 13. So God is ready to be merciful unto you and forgive you of all your wrongdoing if you are really willing to come to him for mercy. So we should see this in our life today and put it into our ways. That whenever we meet God, anything that will hinder us from, his, from receiving his blessings, we should learn to ask that God should help forgive our sins, which maybe we might have forgotten about it, that God should really help us to move forward there with him and be clean in our hearts. So here, today, whoever confesses and renounces his or her sin will find mercy with God, no matter what. Not that we should not we should be hypocritical to the sense of if we sin, we come, then pray, then you may, you feel like God has answered a prayer, then go back to that sin again. That really hinders a believer from attaining God's blessing. So we should ask ourselves this question today: that why is it difficult for some people to admit their wrongdoing? We see as a normal human being, a human being people don't like to admit error. So we should always learn that to take away that old self and put on the new self. You learn to confess any known sin now and forsake it so as to receive God's mercy. So now can we pray this morning that God should be merciful to us and forgive us of any sin that we might have committed. Let's pray that God should forgive us all those sins so that we will be clean before his throne. We should come to him just like King David. We will all see that King David was considered a man after God's own heart. As a result of him always learning to come to God. We empower her to ask, plead for forgiveness. If you plead for forgiveness today, wherever we might have committed sin, we shouldn't see that this one is a small sin, this one is a great sin. Let's
Let's commit all this in our heart that God should pray, purify our hearts from all these things that will hinder you from His blessings. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen.